<clears throat> I'm eating vegan cob salad from Cheesecake Factory. It's so good. Scooch it down. Hi. <laughs> what an intro. Um, yeah, summer vibes, guys. I've never done a summer vibes video. I've done spring and fall twice. But yeah, but that's because I love spring and fall. It's my favorite. But um, I figured I was just in the mood the past two days. I'm like, you know what? I should do it a uh, summer vibes because why not? You guys seem to really like the spring and fall vibes. And I was thinking of all the things that I love and like have been using or have used in the past that like just all summer long that make me feel good, make me look good. Um, and just uh, so many different random things. And also want to include my my Spotify music playlist for summer. Cause you know I'm about that life. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, what I do in the morning in the summer, not just the summer, but specifically doing recently, which is the summer, KG, oh God, I don't know her name. I'll write it below, KGLMT or something like that. Sam showed me her. You guys know how I've always have, I always have a glass of water in the morning first thing right before my coffee, before anything else, and not cold water. I have a video on like, it starts each morning and I talk about that and all the benefits of water. But um, watching this video that she has her lemon water, uh, I'll link it down below. It's really actually, it just inspired me a lot and she's got great content. She's really informative and helpful. But anyway, I have been having lemon water in the morning every day and specifically lukewarm, like not refrigerated water. Watch her video, you'll see, and you'll you'll see why. But anyway, she also has this, which I have. This is from Sterla Table. And she, it's a lemon squeezer. And I've been specifically getting from Trader Joe's, one of my favorite. Ooh. Favorite. Um, I need to apply more lip gloss. Supermarkets. And I get these mini lemons. Look how small they are. She uses a half of a large, I think, but these I feel like are a perfect amount. And I cut them in half. A lot of juice, juice, <laughs> a lot of juice comes out. And it's a little tart, but honestly, I just feel like it really cleanses my body and detoxifies everything. It helps with my bowel movements and helps with like just purifying my skin and my body. And so I'm really loving it. I always have a lemon water in the morning. Okay, anyway, X butter gloss in fortune cookie. Just in the center with my regular lip liner that I always use mauve. But, um, you're right in the center. I just feel like it's such a summery, bronzy look. Okay, bronzy look, I don't know. Glowy, summery vibes. So yeah, um, the same girl was talking about in her skincare video, which inspired video which inspired me to start using this again I had this uh, cleansing oil by Tatcha I've had this makeup remover for a while it just takes off all it literally melts your makeup off and it also just it's health it's like good for your skin it's made in Japan I feel like anything in Japan is good for your skin honestly but I just like it because even though you're not like you you'd be like less dry in the summer you'd think I just feel like putting that that adding that step and my nighttime routine, even though I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just feel like that oil going into my skin is just so beneficial to me and hydrating. And I just feel like it emphasizes the glowiness of what you already have and like the bronze, bronziness. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just really love it. I've been loving like just saturating my face with oils and like serums. And I also have my Claudale. Claudial? I don't know what it's called, but I put like any kind of serum that I have hand on or sample I will use before my moisturizer and all that so yeah just don't get like confused in the summer like you think that you don't need serums and um oils and stuff like that I know it's more of a winter thing but just also include it because it'll make your skin look that much more plump and, and youthful so yeah she definitely inspired that another nighttime summer lotion that I absolutely love for my body is Johnson & Johnson's Bedtime Baby Lotion. When my husband puts this on, I am like, I don't know why. But this just, 
it's not it's not thick or anything like that. It's just really lightweight and it just smells so damn good. So I just liked putting this on like my arms and my legs before I go to bed. It's so good. It's like a summer thing. To go with that like glowiness, summery, bronzy thing for your skin, I love actually I'm lying. This product I use more so in like the paler months because I don't have a tan. But if I have an event or something, I will totally use this product and I usually add it to my lotion so it's a little less intense. This is Scott Barnes Body Bling. I love this stuff. It's so like bronze goddess on your body. A lot of celebrities use it, including JLo. I like to put it on my shoulders and I like to put it on my legs. Also, with even without that product in the summer, I have yet to use this yet, but I'm telling you if you want like a... a glossy dewy beautiful leg it's a shea beauty oil and you can get it at walmart or target it's lightweight but it's just so it's so great on your legs definitely make your legs look on point don't forget about the legs don't forget about the shoulders don't forget about the collarbone you gotta look very glowy and shimmery okay i know i don't talk about makeup that much but i do love me some bronzers and highlighters so you know Tried and true, Laura Mercier baked, matte radiant baked powder. It's in the shade three. I had mentioned I want to try the shade four for summer, but I honestly don't even feel like I need it. Like it just melts into your skin so nicely and like just makes it look like more of like a natural glow. It's amazing. It's the base to my summer routine. So I just brush it on my cheeks and my temples and my neck. And then I go in with this ride or die bronzer that i've had for years literally years it's by Too faced it's the chocolate soleil it smells like chocolate it smells so good it hit pan but like literally so much product so yeah i will usually just dust this in like over here over there a little bit over here so that's that i um for my highlighter this is the product that i always 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 use and will always use it's mac soft and gentle this is my this is it. Um, my best friend seems to think of it's too chunky for her. Like literally glittery, chunky. But I like feel the complete opposite. I feel like this is literally soft and gentle. Like I actually have this on my shoulders today and that's it. Like I don't even have the body bling or anything. I just dusted a little bit there. It's just very subtle, very light glow um, in the corner of my eye. Look at the difference though. If it's concentrated and you like if you like layer it or if you just use your finger, it's so much more like illuminating. And then if you just dust it on, it's just very soft. So I love that. I love, 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 love. It just works with well with my coloring, I guess. I also just take a little brush and lightly dust it right here if I want it. And then right here. I don't know if you can see it. But that's what I'd do. Okay. And... The Becca Opal is also nice to put right there. I feel like this one honestly is too chunky for me. It's too like wet looking. Like, I don't know. I, I'm very picky with highlighters. I don't want it to be so obvious that I have like shimmer on my face, but I want it to just be like a really nice, like natural glow. So I feel like this isn't natural, but I do love to use this on my shoulders and down the what is it called um chin on my shin if i'm wearing like a dress um or shorts or something just like a thin strip down your just put dust this like right down the center so it's just like i have a picture on my instagram where i have that my legs were like super glowy um i was sitting on a couch with some champagne yeah. <laughs> So that's what I use there. Um, yeah, I'm all about that. I love I love bronzer and highlighter for summer. For my hair in the summer, I mean, I honestly do all different hairstyles. My hair isn't that wild that like I can't tame it, but sometimes if it's super humid, I mean, if that happens to everyone, you can't like have a nice sleek look. Um, so with that being said, I'll usually just throw it up or use what I already use anyway, like a texturizing spray, um, a wave spray. These are the products that I use. I absolutely love the way wave spray. Um, 
I have been putting it a little bit in my hair when it's damp and then also when it's dry. It just gives it body and texture and like a natural wave, which I love. But with that, whether I'm doing a sleek hair look, putting my hair back like this, or having the wave, I will lately, I love this, especially for like summer when you're in the sun, you want your hair to be like super shiny and healthy looking. The Kenra Shine Spray is so good. It's lightweight, it smells really good, and I just like it for that extra like oomph. I don't know if you can tell with this. Like obviously like a good blowout, it, it's, it depends on everything, like the blowout, the product you use, but I really like this to just enhance any kind of a style that I do. That was a really long-winded thing for just shiny hair. Um, I don't know if you can pick up on any of the shine, but hopefully. Let's switch it up, let's switch it up, okay. So you guys know I love to write things down. I love vision boards. I love to just get things out of my head and put it on paper or put it in front of me because I feel like visually, we are visual creatures. I'm more so um, a visual learner and just, it's important to have visions in front of you, always. Um, I have videos on that too, but anyway, you know that I like that. So I thought about it. I'm like, I want to start to do a summer prayer list. I already had one I wrote out in January, but I wanted to like re-tweak it and add people and be get more specific. And some of the prayers have already been answered, so it's really cool. A lot of them have been, um, but that's a different thing. Anyway, I also wrote down travel goals. I'm not gonna share all of it with you, but I do want to share a couple. Cause I just feel like I always say I wanna do all these things, but I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna write it down and be like, we're gonna, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna check it off when we do it. Me and my husband are planning a trip to Europe for our second year anniversary, which is October 1st. So I'm excited. We either do wanna do Italy or Greece, and I'm thinking we're gonna lean more towards Greece, but like, I just have this pull to go to Italy. Um, I really wanna go to Capri and the Amalfi Coast and eat the food. Like, it's just so beautiful. I have to go, but anyway, we might just do Greece because we've always wanted to go there. Anyway, that's on the list. Another thing I want to do is the Hamptons weekend getaway. We live on Long Island. We, you know, we are locals and it's a little bit of a drive, but you know, I've never done that before. I've been to the Hamptons, I've been to vineyards and stuff like that, but I've never actually stayed. <laughs> the camera's overheating. I think it would just be so nice for me and my husband to just do a little getaway just, and just like chill out on the beach, you know? Have a drink, relax, enjoy each other and just get away from everything and shut our phones off and just, you know, vibe out. Enjoy Long Island while we live here, okay? I don't know, I have a, I have a list of things. I'm not gonna get into it because it'll take too long, but just like write out some plans you have, some like little things that you wanna do over the summer, Some set some goals for yourself or like just plans that will get you ready and pumped to do it, you know what I mean? Something that I have been loving also, which I got, a couple weeks back is this devotional by Billy Graham it is hope for each day morning and evening devotions and I do my devotions and my Bible reading and my prayer um, in the mornings but I really like that this has an evening um, devotion too like it's not long at all it's a little page and I used to feel like, I feel like I used to always say prayers before bedtime, like when I was younger. And even when I wasn't married, I guess because I was alone in bed and I would just like have that quiet time to talk to God. Just do, I, I enjoy doing it in the morning better to start your day off. But I like that I have that little reading at night. It just makes me want to like just open up this book and get like some, you know, whatever God wants to tell me and some positivity. Another thing that I just got, which I'm loving is the candles which i have been lacking i have been slacking on the candles bestie put me in my place real quick she's like i'm surprised you don't have candles it's been like forever this is cactus blossom with essential oils from bath and body works so freaking good it's like so feminine but not like overpowering it's so so pretty Cactus flower petal, sun kissed coconut, vanilla, and fresh sparkling lemon. It's really, really, really pretty. And then I have one lit right now. It's called Cafe Bouquet Paris. It's got like espresso beans and some other scents that it's like very subtle, but just really nice. Sea salt linen, sea salt and linen. And this one I think of Hamptons Beach House. 
and the window is open and it's like a fresh clean home and then you smell like the sea salt air coming in i don't love this as much as the other two but i do really like it another thing that i actually get a lot of compliments on but i don't personally love it i just want to share it because you might really like the smell of coconut i don't i do typically but for whatever reason this one's just like it's like seriously overpowering um coconut hand and body cream from bath and body works i bring this to work with me because i always have to ha have my hands moisturized i'm constantly washing my hands so um yeah but i do people love it they're always like oh my god you smell so good and i'm just like oh, it's so overpowering <laughs> but if you like coconut this is definitely a good it is good it's just like wish it wasn't so strong but um it's really soft for your hands and if you like that it's a really good summery lotion okay sunnies guys i i wear sunnies in the rain i wear them in the winter i'm like i'm like a sunny fanatic i i just feel like it's such a good accessory for yourself so and also i just can't stick with one i just love to switch it up so anyway um you guys know that where's, where's i love like a plastic frame because i feel like they're not only so comfortable the most comfortable they're just really durable but anyway that's that's that i've been actually really liking aviators and these specifically which i've been wearing in all my vlogs from target and these are 14.95 so shout out to Target. Actually, they're more expensive than I typically get. But um, but these are so cute, right? They're so like 70s slash 90s. I, I just love them. It's just how summery are they, right? Cute. Then I also have these from Forever 21. These are just black, like jet black flat aviators. And what's that blonde hair? And with the gold hardware. I'm all about gold in the summer and we're back. Um, I just love gold hardware, especially when you're tan. And then I really love these two. I think they're so 90s. They're, they're really flattering too, I feel like on me. The circular, the small circle, Pulp Fiction type sunglasses with the gold. Very cute, very cute. They don't really block the sun, but they are cute. And I really, I had these like really tiny cat eye, really thin, like small, in my hand at Zara, and I should have got them. I think they're really cute too. I'm into those. Get yourself a new sunny. That'll switch up your look. It always switches up the look. That is that. Now I want to get into the music portion because I'm all about that music. I am all about it. It can just change your day and your mood, and I'm so obsessed. So I will show you my Spotify Summer Feels playlist, but first, first, I have to hurry up, I have work, oh my gosh. Okay, Drake's new album, mm-hmm. I actually just started listening to it today, so it's called Scorpion. So I haven't really gotten a feel for like everything. I can't, I don't remember like the names of it, but I will share some of them that I'm liking. Just download the whole album, or if you're on Spotify, you don't have to buy anything which I love. This is called Don't Matter to Me. Check. Check. This song just reminds me of Juvenile, honestly. Back in the day, Juvenile. You know what I'm talking about. You know. And when you popped off on your ex, he deserved it. I thought you would have won from the jump that confirmed it. Cause I want you and I need you. Emotionless. That's enough of the album, okay? Just check it out for yourself. My summer playlist is a lot, so I'll just go through some of my faves. Steal Away by Robbie Dupree. I'm just into like uh, 80s rock this summer. Just this summer. <laughs> no, 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 I've just been into it. It reminds me of like a day on a yacht, you know? Philip Bailey. So many good songs. High on You, Survivor. 
Oh my god, I love this song. He's so shy. The Pointer Sisters. I love this song. I don't know. By Shaggy and Spurs Haman. Haman? This is OTW by Khaled. Best For You by Maroon 5, love this song. Girls Like You, Plastic Rose. Ah. The Ways, Khaled with Swizzy, love this song. Um, Black Panther album. I don't dance like that. Let Me In by her. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. I, it's too much. I have it. Follow me on Spotify if you're trying to feel that. You know, some of vibes, okay? I have work. I have to leave. This is like a million minutes long, so I love you guys. I hope this was fun and enjoyable to watch, and I hope you have an amazing summer. You know, live your best life, okay? <laughs> Enjoy the sun. Drink those pina coladas, and, um, you know, blast that music in your car. Lemon water. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification uh, button. So get notified and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!